Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Pray you're all doing wonderful and are keeping in extremely good health and in perfect, perfect happiness. Yes, happiness. More happy, happy love in the words of John Keats. I love his poetry. And anyway, I hope you're well and you're highly favored wherever you're situated on this gorgeous planet. If you hear a lot of squishing and friction is because of my lighter than life sleeves i absolutely love a statement sleeve 80s vibes princess diana that kind of stuff i just love sleeves i think they just they make a statement without trying too hard if you will and i do have a video on princess diana if that's up your street do make sure that you check it out i'm going to be linking it up there today we're going to do a new take a revamp if you will of best loved bits and bobs because we have decided that the new direction of the channel is it has to be rooted on love and in love and it has to be all about love and i'm not just talking about that self-love that is all about me 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 i'm talking about the self-love that makes us be the best versions of ourselves that allows us to be of better service to those people that are counting on us whether you're married you're a single mother you want to feel good you want to fill up your cup because life is extremely challenging nobody walks on this plane or comes on this realm and walk away scot-free i mean it's so demanding so therefore it is extremely important that we find ways to just refine ourselves and rejuvenate ourselves and just be of better service right so today we're going to be uh meshing best love bits and bobs wellness self-love self-care into one box because like i said at the end of the day we want to fit into that box because we are already in the box aren't we we have to think outside the box and still fitting in the box if that makes sense i rumble enough rumbling i have my color coded notes over here so that i won't talk your ears off because as you know i tend to yabba a lot so to start with if you were talking of wellness i'm just going to go back to the basics because the simplest things are the ones that seem to have the most profound effect drink enough water water is extremely important because it is going to rejuvenate you it's going to hydrate you from the inside and the outside as well because what happens on the inside is going to happen on the outside isn't it it's going to manifest on the skin it's going to manifest on the hair on the nails on your mood even headaches according to web M uh, md 25% of water drinkers, they tend to have less headache compared to people who don't drink at least two liters of water a day. So you need that to just get your day started, to lubricate your joints, to make sure that your spine is nice and straight and things are just functioning. And also more importantly, to flush out all the toxins because we want to look good and also feel good, right? It's not just about looking good, but it is also about feeling good. So drink your water. This is the simplest thing you can possibly do. And I know some people hate the taste of water. Make it sexy. Add a bit of lemon in there, chia seeds, fruit, whatever does it for you, parsley, cucumber, water, it's going to make a massive difference for you but the idea here is just to lubricate i mean to 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 hydrate yourself so that your skin can also look hydrated and also you're much healthier you have clearer eyes and you have less headache and if it's good for brain function chances are it's going to be good for everything right so drink your water and this way you're going to also have more energy to go about your day and tackle whatever it is that needs tackling it comes to wellness skincare i'm going to break it down to from the face obviously to the body when it comes to the face i highly highly recommend that you don't just leave your skincare to to your face only because i've met some gorgeous women they have beautiful skin on their faces it looks hydrated but then from neck all the way down it's like whoa what's happening you basically look like two different people so it is important that you also not just leave your skincare to the face but take it down take it down to the neck and more and also because the th the, the skin on the neck is as thin as is thin just like the skin on the hands so make sure that your hands are always always hydrated 
put your I always say put your moisturizers on every counter be it the bathroom counter kitchen counter so that this way you are constantly reminded to always moisturize your hands and also in the handbag those handbag sized uh, ones are really superb because wherever you are when you go about your day you can always moisturize your hands and also people believe it or not people notice our hands more than they notice our faces actually so it's important that there is a correlation right between the hands and the face and also the neck don't forget the neck whatever you do on the face do on the neck as well so that this way everything is just hydrated because hydration is key hydration is next to youthfulness on the face make sure that you get when it comes to, to skincare as well because like I said it's a two part three parter because we first tackled hydration obviously that it doesn't end on the face it has to go down to the neck as well and the hands and that being said make sure that you incorporate some form of a serum because a serum is concentrated with those with those ingredients those oxidant antioxidants that are going to keep the aging uh, signs away or prolong them for as long as possible and a bit of retinol as well play around with retinol for like what a few times a week see how that changes your skin your skin is going to definitely look more youthful more look more plump over here i have the Estee Lauder advanced night repair this is the multi recovery complex i think this is the most hard working serum ever i have been using this for quite some time now and it's in this cough syrup sort of a consistency it's nice and thick so you really don't need a lot a little bit goes a long way i just find it to be those old school products particularly this one they just seem to work and it really is gorgeous on the skin the following day you're going to wake up with skin that looks and feels really hydrated and dewy and especially the dewiness you cannot buy dewiness i mean, I mean you can buy the dewiness but i'm talking about that believable healthy dewy i had seven to nine hours of sleep kind of a kind of skin that is just plum and soft to, to the touch and also soft to the eye so make sure that you start playing around with your serums never neglect them and also your retinol as well but this is fantastic i highly highly recommend it it's it's, it's such an old product but it really does deliver i have tried a lot of new ones and i just feel like this is a strong contender and whatever formula whatever magic they put in this one is genius it delivers so now that we're done with the face we move on to the body because of the cell renewal and us getting older we're going to need to slow away the dead skin cells i cannot emphasize this enough at least twice a week depending on the on your skin texture depending on your skin sensitivity but twice a week should be enough to slow away the dead skin cells and this is not just going to happen by you jumping in the shower with a loafer and uh and a, and, and a shower gel and call it a day it's not gonna work like that because we need the glow we need that glow that comes from from the top all the way down isn't it so over here I have my massive jar of the sanctuary sanctuary spa signature is our natural oils if you have dry skin like yours truly you need the thing to get rid of the dead skin cells and really leave you hydrated and really soft and just gorgeous it smells like a dream i can't open it because it's new sorry i would have shown it to you i have another one that is open and um i'm never without this i feel like it is such a game changer it relaxes you it does smell like a spa like an expensive spa and more to the point it really does get rid of the problematic areas you know like the bum or maybe the knees or the thighs wherever you have issues the back if you suffer from back acne stuff like that people have say that those who had back acne they saw a noticeable difference after using this i don't know i don't have back acne but i believe it to be true because 
it gives your baby soft skin and it's hydrating so twice a week exfoliate your your body i swear by dry brushing i've mentioned dry brushing so so many times lymphatic drainage obviously getting rid of the dead skin cells so you do your dry brushing and then you follow up with this one oh your skin is just gonna feel so so baby baby soft and i'm going to link it down below everything that i'm mentioning will be linked down below but this you owe it to yourself to have this definitely in your arsenal <laughs> or cardboard next on the hair products i have the shim moisture the the jamaican black castor oil strengthening and restore treatment mask as well as the Olape olaplex number three repairs and strengthens all hair types this combination is a deadly weapon if you have african hair like mine it needs to be hydrated and also strengthened at strengthened at the same time so i find the marriage of these two products to be amazing my hair has really really transformed but you gotta be consistent with obviously hair products one time i met an african girl and she she always wear her wigs and uh, she hardly did any treatment so she did approach me and ask me she's like what what do you use for your hair because it's amazing and i'm like I used to be a wig wearer, a weave, a weave, 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 weave. Before I went natural, I used to always, always wear, yeah, wear hair extensions and my hair suffered. I used to look like a little, little plugged chicken, honestly. And uh, so when I went natural, I really became consistent with products and um, I mean with treatments, sorry. I've mentioned this obviously I'm sure if you go through the best loved bits and bobs but the combination of this two I just find it it leaves your hair feeling and looking its best and it defines the curls as well if you want to make your curls pop in the manner of my American sisters this is the combination that is going to do the trick that that works for me personally because like I said you have to try and also you have to ask other women what they are using what works for them particularly if you come across a woman who has t hair texture similar to yours I love Nick uh, what's her name uh, the Richie girl um, Sophia Sof I love Sophia Richie I love the hair and the slick bun she adopted that technique where you tie at the back first and then you do the front when you want to slick it down i thought it's really nice she kind of popularized it and i love her hair her, her hair is amazing it's always glowy and glossy and slick back and all those things i can try her, the products that she uses because why i want to have that slick bun and party pony sort of a style which is nice but then it doesn't it will never work for my hair type because we have different textures her mother is white i believe and then her father is half black so and then it's not gonna work for me we really need to consider those things so also ask around don't be shy you'll be amazed by what you can pick up from other people and also seeing other people's tutorials on the kind on the the kind the people that have Hair similar to yours because it would be such a shame for me to use Nicole uh, Sophia Rich's hair products on mine it's not gonna work even if they do wonders for hers it's just that we have different textures but this combination once a week amazing it's going to make such a massive difference for your hair because like I always say we need to be able to wear the extensions and not, the way, not, and not wear the extensions the wigs you know there shouldn't be much of a difference right i mean you don't want to be like whoa what just happened especially for my african sisters it's important that we don't neglect the hair underneath so that we can not mislead the shareholders <laughs> Now moving on to oils, I have absolutely fallen in love with essential oils. I used to just use every now and then tea tree oil, but I never really bothered with them until recently. My current favorite ones now are lavender, lavender and lilac, and rosemary. Rosemary works for the hair and also it works for relaxing you. I don't know which the other one, the other lavender concentrated one. I think it's in the bathroom. This has been a game changer if you want to relax and if you just want to take your skincare to the next level your oils you need to infuse them with a bit of a few drops you don't need to use it directly 
because it evaporates that's what they say and yeah I know it's concentrated so therefore you might think okay I'm just gonna quickly put it in and get the maximum benefits but just put it in an oil such as coconut oil or your jojoba oil it is so good I find it to be the most relaxing sometimes when I'm just stressed out I can just put a little bit on my hands and and just breathe it in and just feel better and just relax and also at night as well with the lavender oil just massage it on the skin usually I take a bath or a shower then I put on my pajamas and read dim the lights get in the mood you know what I mean get in the mood you know what I mean so what I've been doing is 30 minutes before getting into bed I would just remove the pajamas or the gown the morning gown and then just massage the lavender oil on the skin i swear to you i sleep like a baby and when i say like a baby i mean i'll just <sighs> it is so relaxing and so rejuvenating so never undermine the power of essential oils and this rosemary oil is good for for the scalp for the edges you can actually feel a tingling sensation when you apply it directly so before I shampoo my hair I like to just do like a like an intense oil hair oil treatment and then I do the then I rinse it off and I do the Jamaican yeah then we call it a day so that this way of course it's really pungent when you smell it but in terms of effectiveness it does deliver but it's really it's like a camphor, you know, camphor la lotion. We, I grew up in Zimbabwe. <laughs> we save this camphor lotion and uh, cream, camphor, camphor cream. So during winter, that's what we used to apply to avoid your skin looking chaffed and all. So it takes me back to that time, but it is effective. So never undermine the power of essential oils and oils in general. Definitely a must. Oh my goodness. I have made a song and dance about the L'Occitane almond oil and I think I'll continue to do so for those who are new here you need this in your life because it's just gonna leave your skin supple and gorgeous and soft and uh, and it's, it's romantic as well it smells like a dream I swear to God and it's really thick a little bit goes a long way so if you want to even out your skin and just make it look even from head to toe remember like what you talked about that it's not just about having a gorgeous face but it's also about having the glow that goes from head to toe I highly recommend this but it's a bit pricey so I do have love options don't we <laughs> I have the Avena skin relief body oil spray also infused with jojoba oil with oat oil and it's clinically proven to intensely moisturize smooth smooth the skin and even it in just one week these claims happen to be true I don't know how many bottles I've ordered on Amazon you know Amazon now shows you like how many times you've placed the order <laughs> I think I'm on my 10th bottle now to be quite honest and I love this it's quarter the, of the price of this one and it's more I believe this is what this is 12 this is 200 mils and this is 100 mils love this for everyday use in the morning I prefer to use this one at night because you know like I said if you just want to get in that mood and just relax and feel like a goddess this is it uh, but this one it delivers extremely hard-working oils the champions I should say this want obviously also another deep hydration I have been using coconut oil coconut essential oils I love that as I love that because it is deeply hydrating, packed with fatty acids on the pocket and uh, you can also use it for cooking as well because of the high smoking point, uh, point. Like for baking as well, if you don't want to use butter, you can always use your coconut oil. I love a hard working product, Book best also works as a makeup remover because at a certain point, no woman should ever go to bed with their face on. It doesn't make sense. We are not doing that. We are no longer vandalizing ourselves because we now love and appreciate ourselves. Love yourself. You certainly do not hit the pillow with last night's makeup. It's unacceptable. So there you have it, my darlings. I do hope this was helpful and uh, you can find ways to incorporate some of these products on your wellness, feel good, 
self-love self-care regime because at the end of the day like I said it's really not just about feeling good but it's about looking good but it's also about feeling good and also loving and celebrating the skin that you are in and take care of one another love one another and be kind to one another if nothing else i shall be seeing you in my next video bye